welcome to Houston Notary Academy's YouTube. Yay! <laughs> so with this video, we wanted to switch things up a little bit because a lot of people are like, how do you deal with readers or difficult clients? Questions and all that annoying stuff that we have to run into at times, yeah. Absolutely. So we're going to do a little role play for you guys to kind of be able to gauge what I say, how I'm able to divert my clients if they end up being that way. But generally, I'll give you the quick tips. First things first, when you walk in and you break the ice and you make them laugh, you're already setting the tone for your appointment. Right. So I generally, there's still stuff on their laughter that they don't. Um, I don't come into these issues anymore, but... We are still going to do a role play um, simulation for you just because not everybody has that, you know, because I'm a goofball. The sweat. And so is she. So <laughs> it's a little different. We can goof it out, but I know there are a lot of people who probably struggle just with public speaking or, you know, interpersonal speaking as well. So we're going to kind of guide you along the way. And I'm going to be the annoying signer. <laughs> So make yeah. sure she's <laughs> too excited about this. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to show you how to deal with all the things that could happen during a very bad signing. Stay Absolutely. tuned. Hi, nice to meet Hi. you. My name is Dominique. I will be your notary signing agent for your refinance today. Awesome. Here's a copy of everything that we will be signing. Okay. Thank okay. you. Absolutely. Smells <laughs> good. So you ready to get started? Ready like spaghetti. How's your day been going today? It's been going well. Good. It has been going well. However, we want to get this taken care of so we, we can do. close, we right? Do. We yes, want to close we today. I'm ready. You know those people in the title office, they look for any excuse to push it to the next day. So let's make sure we get this taken care of okay. so we're able to complete, give them everything that they need. I will be scanning the documents as well. So we'll be here to or... I can do it here if you'd like because it'll be a little faster. Oh, okay, okay. All I was right. gonna say if it's gonna take a long time. Then... No, not a oh, long time, but oh. we want to be able to expedite the process. Yeah. That way, they'll have the documents. They can start working to close, mm -hmm. and then your documents that require what signatures will be dropped off to FedEx because that is how they would like it returned to them. Okay. And I'll make sure that as soon as we're done, I will send the documents out for them to receive them. All right. All right, but congratulations on Thank doing you so this. Much. I'm so excited. I have 10 bedrooms. We have six bathrooms. I have an amazing kitchen. Do you want to see my kitchen? Oh, look, I have an espresso machine. Let's, let me go get you this. Oh, my God. I have the best espresso machine ever. But we want to keep that, right? Don't you like caramel? Do you I, like caramel no, in your coffee? Not so much. Oh. Because I'm allergic. Let me, let me just go get you the coffee really quick. But I'm allergic, so let's take oh, care of okay, this. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting off subject. I'm I so know, sorry. but let's take care of this. You ready? Like so right here is your receipt of notice of right to cancel. Okay. So what this means, if you sign this first line, that means you throw everything out, I go, we never close, and we got to give up that espresso machine. All right. I'll but if that. you sign the second line, you're just acknowledging the fact that I showed you this paper and you do want to continue. Okay. All right. So let's take this one. Here you go. And you can sign there. I'm left-handed, so excuse me. Absolutely. See, look, isn't that easy? It is easier. All right, guys. So basically, that was one example. But I feel like a lot is the, the lot of the issues that we're coming across is that we're not planting the seeds, the psychological seeds in the signers. Because generally, when we're going page by page, which is the proper protocol mm -hmm. with the signing to make sure that we don't miss anything, but the signers don't really know how long the documents are. Yeah. So... Here's a gem. What I always do is when I get to the deed or the notes or the amortization schedule, anything that is a bulk, I go, you ready? I'm ready. All right. Okay. Here we go. This is how it goes. <laughs> so I see you've been doing your due diligence. You, you know like it. to read. Of course. Yes. Again, I'm just going to let you know that you do have a copy of everything. Oh, that way you can expedite. I know. I I'm forget not. about this copy. I just forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. Not a problem. Let me look at this page in my copy okay. so that we can Well, we're going to go through the deed oh, right okay. now. Okay. It is 16 pages long. So would you oh. like to take the time no, to read no, no. all 16? No, thank you. Okay, so I you would like to my copy, remember? Yes, so, ma'am. So do you want the signature <laughs> page? Yes. Okay, so these first 16 pages are the deed and right okay. here. You would sign right here. Alrighty. 
Absolutely. Does it matter how I sign it? Like if I, you know, have to just do like my S, my first initial last name and sign it, and I just kind of sign it another way the rest of the way, does it matter if I sign it the same consistently? So my rule is if your signature is illegible, Mm -hmm. meaning if I look at it, I'm like, what is that? Uh Then you would sign exactly how you sign on your driver's license because that is your legal signature. However, if it's illegible Mm -hmm. and you really have your cursive, down pack, mm-hmm. which not many do, mm-hmm. I am guilty, then I would ask that you sign the signature lines exactly how it's written. Okay. Throughout the whole thing? Yes. Okay, I'll sign the same way. All Absolutely. Right. Okay. So another big thing is the amortization schedule. The who? So basically <laughs> that is... That is a page-by-page of every payment that they are signing on to take care of for the entirety of the loan that they are signing into. So I do not let my side, they have a copy of everything. I don't go page by page. I've had students that prior to meeting me, they were like, my signings are six hours long and we're going through every page and we're not going to do that. So I'm going to give you a quick gem on how we sum that up. And this is the page that has all the numbers on it. Just a bunch of numbers. Yeah. Page by page, numbers and dates, numbers and dates, numbers and dates, just in case you wanted to know what that was. So I generally, I will prepare while my signer is completing their last signature. When I see the amortization schedule coming up, it's generally about five to six pages. I found it. It actually is right there. <laughs> it, it, okay. it is five pages. Yeah, like it's long said. usually. And it has the schedule of the payment. So the payment and the date is what's on there for every month the payment they'll make. So it generally looks like this bunch of numbers, and it's about five to six pages long. And they like to stop and read it. So please make sure that you take care of this because they're going to want to look at every page, every payment, because I've had somebody do that to me before. But this is how we divert. So you ready? I'm ready. So here we are. We're up to your amortization schedule. Okay. I know it sounds like a tricky word, but are these are payments? These are your payments. So it looks oh, like here, here. You have a copy of everything, but your first <laughs> payment, your first payment is going to be. Hold on, first. no, I'm not ignoring that. We're, we're, this is a mock signing, okay? But she would not let me take my paper out of her hand. Did y'all yes. see that? You're in control. I have a copy. So yes, lesson <laughs> learned. The signer ain't running. Nothing. No. Do you understand? She held on to that paper and smiled at me. Like, keep on. Okay. Anyways, let's look. Hey, okay. okay. Can I have? Can I see? So I'm just gonna go through this with you, and I just want you to know. Okay. So it looks like your first payment is September 1st, 2022, mm-hmm. and your last payment here is September 1st, 2057. So what you're going to do here is there are no signatures that are required, but I just wanted you to know what these were because I don't like to flip over and let you know. So we're just going to put that there. Okay. Now here we're going on to your encroachment affidavit. Okay. So I know that sounds like a tricky word. Say that again. How do you say it? Encroachment. So all that means is you're not going to move your fence line and mess with Miss Betty's fence line, property line. You're not going to go get a dually and spread out your driveway, right? So it's super simple. You're just going to sign here that you accept the guidelines in your survey. Can I, can I have it now? Yes, okay. ma'am. Because a minute ago, you didn't let me have this paper, ma'am. Because mm-hmm. you have all those beautiful papers right there. <laughs> now, it's generally, your signer will not bite back like this one. But she's having I'm too much Chihuahua. fun with this. Um, but just make sure you're taking the tips, chip. The tips and the tips, okay? The tips, <laughs> tricks, and gems that we're divulging to you. Um, it's super important that yeah. you make sure that your signings are going flawlessly and that you remain in control. That's right. You are there. You have gotten your certification. You are fully, um, you have your scripts in your mind. Mm-hmm. But we try not to divulge too much of the scripts. The, the scripts <laughs> of the chips for the creeps. try not <laughs> to divulge too many of our scripts because we don't want to open the door to too many questions because then we are teetering on the line of UPL, which is the unlicensed practice of law. Mm -hmm. And you know that all attorneys will start with, I am not an attorney. Mm -hmm. Because we are not attorneys, um, we do understand a lot of the legal um, verbiage and we do understand the documents and us that have been in the industry for, oh Lord, many years. We know... A lot more about the documents than we should. Yeah. But it's very important that we avoid at all costs yeah. UPL. 
it's not our job to interpret or to explain or any of those things, even though we do have the knowledge. So the easiest part is to always divert the signer to their properly packaged documents and to make sure that you're telling them so you can bulk up if you see that something's coming up and it is five pages and it doesn't require a signature until the fifth page then you just will briefly give them a description or you will tell them even when you come on to writers i make um writers super simple mm -hmm. so this loan has a planned unit development writer so all that means that you have a homeowner association and when they purchase this land this unit was always intended to be this unit it was never going to be a McDonald's. So it was this always land is your land. This land Say is your land. I don't sing, <laughs> but I make it as simple as possible. But guys, that sums up what we want to divulge to you. Now, obviously, if you guys are interested in going through full mock signing, residential, commercial, learning about more in depth of the documents, we do have so much available for you with Houston Notary Academy. We have one-on-one -on -one, uh, sessions, group sessions. We have the pre-recorded self-paced courses. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're a self-taught learner, you know, self-made. Mm -hmm. But if you want that one-on-one -on -one time with us, we have that available for you as That's well. Right. So just make sure that you're keeping in tune with us and you are utilizing everything that we have worked so hard to prepare for you. And once again, I'm Dominique. And I'm Sherelle. Thank you guys so much for always tuning in, staying loyal and watching. Make sure you subscribe and tell your notary buddy to subscribe as well. Absolutely. Have an amazing day. Bye. Bye.